yeah, 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 I'm live.
I can't fetch it from back there, puppy. Hello, everybody. Oh. Hello. I got Owaz with me. Sort of. Sort of. Owaz is here as, as a ghost. <clears throat> so it is. I'm, it is I'm here it on is. the cell phone. Owaz is here on the, the cell phone. I am not. I'm not sharing my my screen. Um, you know, with with uh, in order to see Owaz because he's on his. He's just like chilling on his cell phone. Even though I think I can. Should I? You should be able to. That's fine. Let's let's see if we could do this, guys. Because you know it is what it is. So let's see. We would have to do. What would I have to do to capture this? Capture. Are you capturing your the the Discord window? Yeah, I could do that window capture. Click OK. What oh, there's everybody there because I screwed up. Uh, we are not professionals at this, so don't. <laughs> oh, I was here with Owaz apparently. Yeah, Owaz is here. I'm having it. I gotta somehow pop the window out, but he can't do chat and do the thing. So, I mean, I don't know if you want to be here in audio, okay. Owaz. There we go. That should work. So, today we got the Nintendo Club. And I just cut my myself off completely. So today we basically we got the Nintendo Club. Um, what I was gonna do was if if there oh we got ten people. Oh, oh well, it, <clears throat> that is. Oh, and it's Mets just joined in. So Baron's here. Okay, cool. Well, I'll know. hang out for a bit and then uh, stuff. What's going on, Nato? And it is Knocker Crazy. What's going on, Knocker? How are you doing today? So, everybody. Yeah, we got we got the Nintendo Club. So, once I get Baron on. Um, so, a couple of things I'm just going to be doing today, everyone, is I wanted to do a um, high score oh. challenge. And I was, I was going to set up a timer for 10 minutes. We were going to put games on the wheel. And basically, I, I have the... Wheel all set up, so we're gonna do. We're basically so here's the wheel. So I got the wheel all set up. Um, once I get Baron in and and we start doing all that, I'm gonna put everything on the wheel. We're gonna spin the wheel. We're gonna see the game, and we're gonna go from there. Um, so it's yeah. a, a wild Baron has appeared. A wild Baron a wild... has appeared. Oh, it's I'm terribly bird. sorry about that, guys. My the appointment I had earlier went way longer than I expected. To nah, do. it's all right. You told me, so I'm I am very happy with that. It is so nice to talk to you, Baron. Good talk to you. you get all the compliments, Baron. He's just like, "Hey, what's up, Paul?" <laughs> or Owaz, whatever. Hey, yo, dude, what's up? It's getting dark here. So it yes, is. I Let's see. I got window captures going on here. Now what I got to do is I got to do another window capture. And then I got to click OK. And let's... Window capture of a window capture of a window capture. Quality may suffer some. Just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is going to be fun. Here comes the puppy. Up oh, there he is. There is... Let's go. I was, there's myself, and there, um, there's Baron, so there is everyone, I, it's, re guys, it's horrible, I am no, by all means, no master at this stuff, like I was is, so, I guess we're gonna have to deal, we're gonna have to deal with tonight, and Jerry rigged this entire thing, so, yeah, just call me MacGyver when it comes to this crap, <laughs> so, <it's, laughs> it is what it is at this point, but, alright guys, so what, what I wanna do is I wanted to get started with, um, Baron's gonna Baron's gonna play some games. I guess I'm gonna play some games as you can see up there. I got the wheel that I could bring in. Owaz is here talking to us, so have you. So Owaz says that he loves everyone. Alright, so we get wheel spaces. Yeah, man, just just you get wheel spaces. What's up, Foxy? Hey, what's up, Did Foxy? You, were you able to turn on the wheel redemption? That all that stuff for me, I would have to talk to Ken and Chris because that oh, is okay. We still gotta get that worked out then. Yep, because that is going. <clears throat> I'm gonna need to figure that out. We have a get off my lawn alert. I see. 
We have a <clears throat> get off my lawn. So, uh, so I didn't even see that. Oh, we do have a get off my lawn. So, yeah. Well, flipping your phone so you could turn on the wheel space, that would be spectacular. <sighs> I'm oh. trying not to use the computer upstairs since it's 80 plus degrees upstairs and don't want to possibly make my old computer just go poof. Oh, I see a wheel. There's a wheel space for 450 that's on now. Yep. That'll All right. work. Thank you, Foxy, Slippy. or whoever took care of that. Slippy's been giving me, like, this stuff to do, but the problem with it is I need access rights in order to do that. And the access rights um, need to come from Ken and Chris, and they've been, I mean, or, or I think Ken, and they've been really busy and everything, so it's, that's what's been going on. Taken care of. Moving on. Mm. Yep. Use your so redemption faces. Put on Blaster Master. Does Blaster Master even have a score? I forget. So t tonight, Baron actually brings up a very good point. What are we doing tonight instead of just sitting here and talking? Um, we're going to be doing the wheel space that I have the wheel right up here. So I'm just going to minimize the wheel. I'm going to cram as much crap as I possibly can into the screen. So it my computer smokes and then I have a reason to start rebuilding the other computer that I have behind me. Um, it's not going to be as good as Baron's Deep Six, but whatever. <laughs> so, Deep Six. <laughs> <laughs> Deep Blue, whatever the hell. <laughs> so. Well, I think that's it, Foxy. Where are the helms on? That would that would be me. And Shattergang no, came from. No, it didn't from... get redeemed. That came from. So Shatterhand, no one. Shatterhand came oh, from Slippy. All right, Slippy. So, I have the the browser open. Hopefully, the browser will oh. refresh its damn self. But whatever, I can't trust OBS for the life of me. It's getting a little bit too dark here. You can't see anything. <laughs> I was talking to on there. Too. All right, I've got Shatterhand up and going on a. Uh... Recharge. Let me uh, unmute my recharge. Meow, meow. Okay, we got Shatterhand. We got oh. Holy Diver. Uh, I, lo I lost Baron. Where'd Baron go? What? I'm here. I don't see your your um cam anymore. Oh, you should see both the cam and, um, so I'm yeah, doing, we, uh, share camera and a share screen. So you should be able to see as Recharge. As long as you guys can see it, that's fine. I'm just, I'm using the phone and it may just act differently. Be, so, Foxy wants everyone to sing He-Man. He-Man? He-Man. I, I have no idea how he there's, goes. There's no words for He-Man. He-Man dialogue. What, what dialogue? Oh, and the yes. uh, the theme song. Or the intro. I don't know the intro to He Man off the top of my head. Owaz knows it, yeah. Foxy, listen, Owaz, Foxy's calling you out, man. He's saying you know this, Owaz, so I, I don't know. <laughs> you are the He Man expert of the group. I don't know about expert. Speaking of, though, Prin went to. Uh, um, Target and was able to find something on clearance for He-Man. Mechanic and uh, what's my doodle? Dang it, the rip one, the rip one, okay. rip ride, the uh, road attack, whatever. Oh, but, do, I, do do I need to do the whole thing? Go. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia, defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my hero. Where's one of the dogs? I can't see him. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held off my magic sword and said, By the power of scan lines! <laughs> I found the power! Oh, Kinder became this the mighty battle mixed. cat. And I became He Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret our friends, the sorceress, Manda Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you right there. 
All right. Let me go. Let me go see how badly. <laughs> oh, this is cool. <laughs> That's what you wanted. <laughs> All right. So, guys, I. That's perfect. That's exactly what you wanted, Foxy. That's actually pretty awesome. All right. I. All right. He's playing Shatterhand, which looks pretty, pretty dope. Um. All right. So we only have three games that are on here right now. So, uh, what I'm going to do is, I, this wheel space thing is not refreshing for me, so I'm going to do 450, um, I'm going to redeem a game, and it's going to be NES, 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 oh man, well, this is pretty sad that I'm actually drawing a blank. Any good games that we know for NES? Are you Blaster Master. Master. Blaster Master's pretty good. Blaster Master. <laughs> oh, Bomberman. Um, uh, uh, the NES Bomberman's not great. It's okay. I haven't played it. So, Super Nintendo version is awesome. I redeemed. Rockman is great. Rockman, Rockman 2. I redeemed it for the NES. Oh, wait. Wow, you guys are amazing. Okay. Super C. And yes, and let's do Foxy Man, okay. because Foxy's hair is amazing, I wish I had it. Um... Oh, Cartridge Club is doing Contra and Super C this month for the game of the month. And then they'll be doing a podcast later on. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, Trojan Whoa. Sentai Jetman. Yeah, I'm gonna copy that, Foxy, because if I try to type that out, it's like, well, it's not, I don't even know what that is, but dude, that looks pretty really awesome. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna drop that in, and I'm gonna go and yes, and then Foxy Man. Hmm. All right, so I got I got a lot of games. I got a lot of games that are currently on the wheel right now. So what I'm going to do is, guys, I'm going to shuffle the wheel, and then I'm going to shuffle the wheel again, and then shuffle the wheel again. Um, now, oh, okay, Slippy drops in when Attack of the Kills. I've never played that before. Killer Tomatoes. Four, 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 four. Attack of the Kills. And yes. By Slippy. Oh, you have an English wrong. Thank you, Foxy. I appreciate that. So we have eight. <clears throat> we have eight entries that are on the wheel. I'm shuffling it. I just shuffled the hell out of the wheel. So I'm gonna close everything right now, and I'm gonna. Well, I got eight so far. If what I was thinking about doing was, I have a timer up for ten minutes, so it's gonna be ten minutes per game. Um, and let's just go through how many games that we have. I'm going to save the wheel, and when Owaz is back with us, we could just continue to add onto the wheel and just use this as our NES wheel of wheel of fun. I would like a big wheel. Um, wheel of doom. <laughs> just keeping it, you know, NES, and then we have, and then we have. Why not just put a, put put every NES game on it, and then when it comes up, pull it off. It <laughs> just do it. I want, it, I want games where people are going to like, like even RPGs and all that other stuff, I don't care, it's 10 minutes. If you play a game for 10 minutes and you really enjoy it, great. Um, I've never heard of Princess Tomato in the Salad Tomato in the Salad Kingdom. I've never heard of that, but oh, okay. Oh, I hope I don't get sucked into buying NES games now because they think it's they're a, great. It's a somewhat expensive game, but that's why I picked up the Famicom version. Oh, for that? Yep. Yes, it's going to be a high score challenge. Got How high can you get in a matter of 10 minutes? And what you're going to do is for the high score challenge, everyone, obviously, you know, we're going to have to go into... Sca so what you're going to do is you're going to go into Scanline Heroes. Um, okay, you're going to open up Scanline Heroes. You're going to go down to... Where it says, Jesus, I should, I should know Scanline Heroes a lot better. Baron's having one hell of a time over there. 
<laughs> I'm just playing some uh, Shatterhands because because we put that up and that's the review game for this week anyway. It's a, it's a good game. So you're gonna go into a thing called Sega Nintendo Club, which is gonna be under Owaz's name, Sega Nintendo Club, and then you're gonna drop in your high scores that are in there. Um, for each one of them, and then I'll look them over and see who got the highest of high score. I'm just gonna play just to play for 10 minutes, because you guys are on a different level than I am, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna turn the wheel off now, because I got a lot of things going on over here. Rambo NES by Slippy. That Oh, damn, Knocker, that's a good one. All right, all right, all right, enough. Oh, Foxy, why did you have to throw Athena? Um... <laughs> You uh, gave him the opportunity. Grem, I'm just gonna put Grem. I'm just gonna put Gremlins two. Uh, we should all know what that is. And that Gremlins two. Oh, Xenophobe is a really good game. I, I think I still have that one. Uh, NES. All right, enough, 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 enough. Uh, the wheel Gremlins. is closing. The wheel is closed, Slippy. You had one more wheel. I'm gonna have to re one more redeem, Slippy. No. We're done. Oh my god. Cool world. Cool world on the NES. No, we're done. No. <laughs> we are done. The wheel is closed. Foxy, take it away. Um. Alright. Gremlins 2 NES. That was by Foxy Man with the hair. Um, uh, Nightmare. I actually own that game. Um. NES. You guys really like your high score challenges, do you? I'm all in for this. Cinephobe. And yes. Slippy. Oh, Slippy, just so you know, Princess Tomato was really big, so I just put SL um, as your name. That's all. Um... Werewolf the Last Warrior. That sounds really familiar, Knocker. Oh, Cosmic would have enjoyed this. I wonder where Cosmic is. Well, we started kind of late, and he's he's a pretty early um, um, retire. Is that the way they said? Early sleeper. Knocker. <laughs> um. Ah, went down the wrong pipe. We got dragons. <coughs> um, Dragon's Lair is NES. Is that correct? Are these all NES games that you guys redeemed? Because I know you guys yell at me and you're like, <clears throat> Oh my god, you know, you didn't put the system on... The, the thing, so if they're all NES, alright. Widget, I thought Widget was an SNES game, not NES. And by the way, Widget was a great show I happen to like. Like, Widget. So, Dragon's Lair, NES. You guys flooded this. Knocker. I think the real challenge tonight was seeing if I could type all this out. <laughs> oh, it's on NES? Yeah. So, we did Widget, we did Dragon's Lair, Athena, or Hell. Um, Here's Widget. Athena. Hmm. Oh, by Atlas. Hey. Atlas? Oh, we love Atlas. Oh, well, at least, at least published by Atlas, anyway. Stage one. Mega the Snake. Fireflies are coming out. Persona. Who put in Yoshi's Cookie Baron? Was that Slippy? I wasn't paying attention to the chat as much as I had to. Yoshi's Cookie. Um, oh my god. Widget. Yeah, Widget is definitely an NES game, because I found it in the, um... I just grabbed the, uh, archive.org, uh... What is it? The, uh... Tosec set. T-O-S-E-C set. World. There's a cool world for the NES. That's unfortunate.
Well, cool oh, this, world. This kind of reminds me of um, Bubble Bobble. Change cool world to Dirty Harry. You got it, buddy. I just typed in cool world. I will change that <laughs> to... Boxy, could you redeem back Knocker's um, highlight in my message for 100 if you don't mind? Oh, I that's a... That's an enemy. Little space is closed, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. Hey, what's up, TJ? <laughs> what's going on, buddy? Ah, uh, Athena, you're just cooking the right one. Okay. Alright, there's about 20 entries on this thing right now, which is amazing. So I'm really happy about that. So I'm just gonna shuffle the hell out of this thing right now. And I'm gonna spin. Obviously, I don't know why it was this URL isn't updating, but whatever. The URL doesn't update, it's just the wheel itself. Or is that what you mean? Okay. I spun the wheel and we are going to be playing Nightmare on Elm Street by Knocker. All right, I think we're on Elm Street, he says. I just, yeah, I just, uh, just lowered it a little bit. All right, well, if you got a game going, you got it under control, I am going to head back inside where it's not 100 degrees and humid. Oh, geez, yeah, that sounds gross. But y'all have a good night. Stay hydrated, man. Yeah. Yes, stay hydrated. All right, everyone. Hopefully that issue will be fixed next week. I'm back to the same scan line time and scan line stuff. I'm gonna keep have a good night, everyone. Everything for the wheels. So, all right, thanks, so was. All right, I'm I'm uh, decreasing my volume per. Uh, I have it. Today. I already did it for you. Oh, through, okay. Through whatever. Yeah, we're we're good. Um, all right, guys. So we're gonna be looking for Nightmare on Elm Street. I personally own this game, don't even know why, but I have, I collect, collected horror games, actually, for the NES. I still have all of them. Aw, oh, damn it, I should have put Ghoul School on the thing. Um, alright, whatever. You know, there's an easier way to do this. Nightmare, Nightmare, K, Nightmare, 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 L, M, N. Hmm. Okay, does everyone have the uh does everyone have the ROM? If you don't have the ROM, uh let me know and I will throw the ROM over into uh scan lines if you guys if you guys need the ROM. So just you know give a shout out if you need it or whatnot. I'm going to actually you know what, I'll do it for you guys real easy. Sega Nintendo Club. Um what does it put? I think I need a new keyboard. Okay, Nightmare on um Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this, but I think this might be the wrong. I hope Oh, thanks, Slippy. I owe you one for that. Yeah, I got cover art and everything in here, so whatever. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to... We're going to start... Uh, so, yeah, this is the kind of problem I have with RetroArch. What's the problem you have with there's two, there's two in here. I have to go in and clean everything out. I might do that tonight. Um, won't, it won't, <clears throat> won't start for some reason. Oh. So what I'll do is I'll just take the one that Slippy had, just download that, open that up, and just throw it in to RetroArch. Hey, what's up, Super Chill Stream? How are you doing tonight? Okay, here we go. So guys, this is what basically we're going to do. Tonight, um, 
<clears throat> I have a timer that's set up. Um, Baron, if you want to just reset the game. I'm going to say start, and we're going to try to see if we can get a high score or, you know, whatever it is. Guys, remember, we're going to post our scores within Scanline Heroes under the under Owaz's name. Um, and it's going to be under the Nintendo and uh, Nintendo and SNES Club. So, if you guys are, is if everyone's ready, let me know in chat if you guys are all ready to start this. It's going to be 10 minutes. So, it's basically going to be, like, what's your score? 10 minutes, done. Then I spin the wheel, we get another game, and then go from there. Let me know whenever, well, you guys are ready. Hmm. Oh, Baron, let me know when you reset and you're ready to go. Oh, I already reset earlier when you said to reset. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've been going. Uh, do you want me to reset again? <laughs> yeah, reset because we're gonna. I'm gonna start the timer. All right, everyone. Um, Foxy, Slippy, DW, uh, Knocker, um, everyone that's in here right now. Uh, in fact, you know what? Let's just before we start. Just let's give um, Super Chill Stream a shout out, and I want to give. Um, I guess you guys already, you know. Uh, give Mr. Foxy Man a shout out. Um, all right, guys, if you're all ready, then start. Timer's up, guys. We got nine minutes. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, I played this with the four-player controller when this came out. Player controller. There was we there was a four-player hub for the Nintendo, and one of my friends actually <clears throat> um, put on Doc. Do you know Dokin or Dokin, whatever it is? There's a song um, that... the the band with yes. like uh, George Miller. I think it is. I think it is. Yeah, I think so. Um, a friend of mine knew that, knew, um, oh, whatever, he was a big fan of the band. Um, he put on Dream Warrior, which was also from Nightmare on Elm Street. Specifically uh -huh. on Nightmare on Elm Street. Okay, that didn't work. So this game's kind of got its own rhythm that's a little bit, uh... It, it's very Castlevania esque. Thanks, Super Chill Stream. You you could do multi multi controller for this. It was way back in the day. Playing with an, an NES, uh, an NES advantage was great for this thing. Cause you would have like a turbo for the punch. I hate this guy. This guy's an ass. I gotta remember what jump is because I keep on getting screwed up. Ugh. It's not that button, anyway. Okay, <laughs> no, right? Oh, no! <laughs> Timing is critical in this. Oh, it's Freddy. Uh oh. What am I gonna do? We got eight minutes, guys. Eight minutes. Man, the only, the only thing that's going through my head right now is uh, Dream Warrior. Okay. See turbo, you would just stand there and just go bam, 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 bam. Um. Alright, I think. Well, no. uh, is this no. considered one LC or one CC? I should. No, it's it's gonna be until basically the end. One. All right. One CC. So there's quite a bit of input lag in this game. I don't know if that's the emulator or if it's just the game. But uh, your punches always happen later than you would think. Yes, that's true. That was a very big problem with the game back in the day. You would have to time the punches just right. I'm just used to, you know, like a chain whip or, you know, uh, Rockman bullets, um, you know, shots or whatever going off. 
you know, when you hit the button, not to... Uh... I, I cannot go down. What? You know what, Wolfie? Just, just, just for that, I will, I will take away from okay. the whole game. Um... And I don't know if you can enter buildings when things are... I went to this house before. I don't know how I did it. I thought I just hit up. But I hit up the first time and it didn't go. I don't know if there's just certain buildings you can go into and certain you can't. Maybe. <sighs> it has been an age and a half since I played this. You hit up and A, maybe? Jump? No? Up doesn't seem to do anything here. You have to hold it? Defender of the no? Crown? I've never heard of Defender of the Crown. We're the Dream Warriors. I'm gonna die right now. <laughs> Alright. So is this, I, uh, was this Knocker that, that suggested this one? Yes, it is. Uh, I see. Are you, uh, bad to this one, Knocker? What are your what are your tips and tricks? How do you enter buildings? <laughs> Just hit up. Okay, but elf didn't work last time. It didn't work this time either. I am like goodbye. I'm hitting up. Did I read the manual? <laughs> uh, I'm I an emulator, have the man. Manual, if you want me to read the manual. This is one of the hardest platforms to badge on the site. This is not. <laughs> I remember, God. I'll never Wait, forget. This... Like we we were we were playing this as kids. I'll never forget it. And one of one of my friends, Peter, was like, we were playing this with like I think like two other guys. And um, my friend Peter started screaming at this other kid, "Jump! Damn it, jump!" And he's like, "I'm trying to jump." And my friend Peter smacked the kid in the face with a pizza, a slice of pizza, because it got kind of serious. <laughs> Okay. Oh, man. Yo, Freddy, get the hell off already. Alright, I, I give this game like a one. I give this game as, yeah, about a one. Peter always gets overexcited. <laughs> no, it was funny because he was... Like, no one messed with Peter because he was this big Russian dude. And he just started... It was the funniest thing, DW, because he just started, like, screaming. Like, hit up, hit up, and... No, or, or jump already, damn it. And we're just, you know, we're sitting there like, what the hell do you want us to do? Oh, my God. But it was all shenanigans back then. Come on. Okay. Uh, this this game. Knocker just wants to screw with people, I think. He trolled us in this game. You know, when I when I bought this game a long time ago after mine got water damage, but at a garage sale and I could see why the guy sold it to me for five bucks complete in box. <laughs> oh man. You probably could just farm, I guess, the... Sure, but... Uh... God darn, the punch in this game is so awful. One of the few <sighs> games I do enjoy the soundtrack, too. It's not bad. Guys, not... we got two minutes uh -oh. in... Two minutes left. Just letting you guys know. Okay, so like I'm hitting up, and there's not let me go into the room. Okay. Can you not? Um, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I guess I'm just farming. This is where I live now. Farming this bats. Is, this is. <laughs> Because I can't go in the door. Because up doesn't do anything. <laughs> Baron's been reduced Life to doesn't farming. do anything. Baron's been reduced to farming bats. Uh, 
You know, out of the sheer surprise, we're in the summer, and yet no one put Goonies on the wheel. Okay. Wait, really, so Knocker? Yeah. yeah, my 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 score is gone. Got a minute left, guys. Minute left. I it's I don't know. It's it's something slippy. I've always liked. I mean, I really you know like there's um boy in his blob. There's Goonies. Um. Jeez, boy I don't really blob. think of Goonies as like a summer thing. I don't know. I. Jaws. Jaws screams summer to me because shark movie. Yes, Jaws does scream it, but I think, I think for me it was Goonies. You know, growing up, we would take the bikes out in the summer. Did you only bike in the summer? We only we only biked in the summer. The summer and the fall. Huh. But. Oh no, San! Freddy's coming. I'm. Um, no. That's okay. I'm a dream warrior. <laughs> I keep on playing that, but it's a good it's a good song. But <clears throat> apparently, this game is not. Like Nightmare, um, oh my God, Jason, for uh, <laughs> NES. School's out. That's why I thought of Ghoul School. Okay, guys, timer's up. Everyone, stop. Gonna reset our timers. Okay, and take your screenshots and. Post them into the Sega Nintendo Club, everyone. I won't. I won't. Post. I mean, Baron, you definitely could post the score. Mine's like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Not like very high or anything. I'm just killing bats and got to 11,000. How did you... <laughs> I. Yeah, you got a really good score, damn. So the, um, <laughs> just for killing bats, you know. I mean, that's not that's not bad at all. You look, you lived in the junkyard. All right, guys. So that was Nightmare on Elm Street, brought to you by Knocker Crazy. Uh, we're gonna remove that one off the wheel. I'm gonna wait and give everyone some time just to go ahead and post. Um, and then I'm going to spin the wheel again. So I'll give you guys a minute. Just post up some scores. Jeez, Foxy. <laughs> That's actually a good photo, Foxy, of Freddy jumping up in the air. I like that. Nice. 27,000. So are there uh, rewards for people beating us with uh, at score? Or what's the what's the sort of metagame we're playing so here. so what i want to talk to um Oaz about and what i really want to do is i want to continue these high score challenges in the clubs themselves <clears throat> and i think what we should do is i i think every club that we have um an nes club will will gather the scores together and see you know oh hey listen you know last week's winner was foxy or knocker or someone else. Like kind of like what you guys do with um credits and continues. Uh I want to do it every 6 months where if we have okay fuck cuz really we only do Nintendo Club um I think it's twice a month. So for 6 months like 12 12 times we would have like whoever won one week or won another. Um I think at the end of the 6 weeks what I want to do is I want to send out like a $30 um or $40 um Amazon gift card to whoever the winner is going to be every 6 months. That's pretty decent. So, it's either I mean, it could be either an Amazon gift card, you guys want credit on Steam. I mean, whatever. I I that's what I really want to do. So, I'm going to try to I'm going to keep up with the scores and everything once we get done with this and write down in a spreadsheet who won and, and just continue it from there. Cause I like the high score challenges. Um, just, 
like this. This is kind of fun. So, all right, Knocker, what we'll do is we'll we'll go with a you know just the default score with you. Um, I'm just playing for fun. I'm not doing it for scores since I'm going to be the one handing out the gift card. So, if you guys are ready, I'm going to shuffle the wheel again. Okay. Let's do a shuffle, and another shuffle, and another, 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 another shuffle, and let's spin the and see where we're from here. Do you want to toss the uh, the wheel up when you're spinning it? It wasn't a... it wasn't working for me. I don't think it it populated. Oh, I just mean like as far as just showing it on stream, like um, capturing that window or whatever. I could probably just capture the window itself, but uh, dirt. Dirty Harry on NES is the um, next one. Yeah, I could I could probably do that. I would have to figure out uh, window capture. Um, All right. Do we feel lucky, punks? Did we spend five times or six? I don't know how to move the little yellow bar. That's what the real was it like you hold down like control shift and you move it to you know whatever whatever you guys could see or I don't know. Well, whatever. So, Dirty yeah. ha Dirty Harry won. Um Let's boot up Dirty Harry. Nice. Got some, got some uh, voiceover there from uh, what's his name? Tr uh, not Trout and Heston. Um. Whoa! So there's the window capture. There's Dirty Harry by Knocker. I'm going to load up uh, Dirty Harry. Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood. That's who this guy is. He also kindly provided some clothing for uh, Michael J. Fox, if you remember. <laughs> he did? Uh, yeah, yeah. A, a nice, uh, very, very Western-looking uh, um, blanket coat thing. Go ahead. Oh, you're right in um, 3. Yeah, in Back to the Future. Police brutality. Um, I got. Thank you, <clears throat> Foxy. I got it working. All right. So here is Dirty Harry. So what we're gonna do is let's go up. I figured out how to finally do this. Games on Scanline, um, Nintendo Sega Club, and I'm going to post up Dirty Harry. Uh, I do not have permissions to send messages on this channel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I can't add. I've added games before, but now I don't have permission to. All right, so I guess that's gonna be something Mr. Slippy Man's gonna have to work out with that. All right, guys, you let me know when you got. You let me know when you're ready for the timer to start, and we can. Here's our. Here's our timer. Timers at 10 minutes, everyone. Let me know when you guys are ready. And we'll begin. I don't have access, or I had access. I got access, whatever, for games on scan lines under that Sega and Nintendo clubs. Um, all right. When everyone's let, let everyone know when we're ready. And I'm going to start the timer, guys. Okay, everyone, I'm going to start the timer. I'm going to mm -hmm. start the timer now. Okay, let's get ready. All right, um, I will uh, restart here.
Whoa, what is going on here? Make my day. That's what's going on. Does he have, like, unlimited bullets? <laughs> uh, looks like you have unlimited on your, um... If you go to your start screen... Okay. Well, my controls are all screwed up with this. There's a hot dog? I don't know what the hot dog does. Yeah, you got that one right. I don't even know. Is there a score associated with this knocker? If you hit if you hit the start button, you can see your score. Thank you, Baron. I take it this was an experimental time. Nope, I I ran out of bullets. Yeah, you can see your, your the number of bullets you have on the start screen, is what I was saying before. Oh, okay. I like the way you transition the rooms and stuff. Where are these guys popping out of? There's only like so many spaces these guys can pop out of. Golly, this is really annoying. Oh, look, it's like Michael Jackson. <laughs> I'm a little, like, confused where these guys are popping out from. Oh, I was shot dead. I only have five bullets left. I don't know how to use any of these other items. I have a hot dog. Yeah, <laughs> I was talking about that earlier. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? I just... I don't really know what the what the point is. I, I got to a spot on the outside where you can't go further. And inside, I'm not sure what's going on here. Oh, I got like a bazooka, it looks like. Um, let me see if my controls are shot. Whoa, and Steam decided to just pop up in the middle of everything. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Why would you do that, Steam? Oh. Bye, Steam. It's like, I can't jump, so what's the... What am I supposed I, to do I, with these? I can jump, I just don't know how to punch. Okay, now I got oh. my punches down. Both, both... I don't know. How do you jump? I, I guess a mo uh, num buttons. <laughs> that's, that's the there's best. Only, there's only four buttons, right? There's there's, I, there's, only, there's supposed to be two. Well, no, you got select, you got start, you got uh, A and B, right? And for me, um, I think what's uh, A is.
fire. Um, fire my gun. For uh, A is punch. Right? So, how do you jump? What do you what, what button are you pushing to jump? I I. Forward and both buttons. <clears throat> oh, both buttons. Both buttons. Okay. It's one of those games. Ah. Why are there snakes? This is supposed to be Clint Eastwood, not... Freaking Samuel L. Jackson. Why are there um, snakes? I'm very confused by this game. Okay. Knocker, at what point... Did you did you think this was? I mean, is this? Well, not you never says a good game to begin with, but did I just fall in a hole? Okay, I think I got some like bombs and like crowbars. I don't know how to. Select the lower things. Oh, maybe these things like let now you get I into can. doors. Slippy, thanks. Yeah, this <laughs> Foxy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I'm done. I agree. Um, we got like two minutes left, guys. You want to just kill this one? Thanks, Knocker, and just like move on, cause I'm about done. I don't know where the hell I'm going. <laughs> oh, jeez. I wasn't oh, thinking Oh, DW, if you're still around, man, I'm not using the thing today. I gotta clean it. I'm using this. Yeah, Baron, good. You're, you're out of the death hole. What's that? The death hole. That's, that's where I'm at right now. Oh, no, I haven't been there. I'm jumping on things and collecting, I don't know, Molotov cocktails? And... Crowbars? Can I break this TV? No. I'm just waiting for the timer to count down. I don't even. I'm I'm in the death hole. So. Oh, you can jump on the spiders, or not spiders, but the snakes. Sort of. You can. Yeah, you can jump on the snakes. Oh wow! All right, that's that's pretty interesting. That was the way in that room. Oh hey, Slippy. Um, <clears throat> I was thinking about you the other day because I got this one in for Saturn, and then I got this one in for Saturn. And I think I'm going to do uh, a special stream in scan lines because I got the Ultraman game for Saturn that came in. The Ultraman fighting game. That looks really good. But I don't even... Why am I shooting? I'm just standing there shooting, kicking. I don't know. Whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm completely brain dead with this game. My health is at one. I have like no lives left. Um, how do you like choose an item to use in the game? I uh, hit the start menu and select something different, and then hit start to exit. My character just completely went nuts. I'm trying to get this boss down, and it, like you could duck under his punch, but you can't punch him. Well, all right, guys, we are out of time. Let's see those scores.
I think I used a continue earlier, so my score went bye bye. But yeah, <laughs> whatever. Thank you, Knocker, for that pile of vomit. I appreciate it. Um, that was. I mean, this was better than this was better than Nightmare on Elm, Elm Street, but that's really not much. Saying Nightmare much. on Elm Street was pretty. Well, Nightmare on Elm Street wasn't. The, I'm I'm more nostalgia for Nightmare on Elm Street, even though it is a horrific game. But, all right, guys, I'll let everyone start posting up their scores. Huh, my controller stopped working. What in there? So, let me know when everyone is done with their scores. Do 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 do. Okay. I mean, at least it's a at least it's a better concept. Like I don't know. Like anywhere in Elm Street's a horror movie, so and you're not, you know, the the victims <laughs> in that movie aren't aren't very powerful, except until like second and third movie. And Dream, but like, I think, yes, you are correct, Baron. I think really when they started to fight back was Dream Warrior. That was but the, uh, like Dirty Harry should be a good, pretty good premise for a, a shoot 'em up game, you know, or even like um, like Dark Man or something. I think Dark Man is a better game than that. Oh God, you just made my stomach <laughs> go upside down when you said that one. Man, I remember getting Dark Man for Christmas and opening it up and be like, "Whoa, the movie was great! I got Dark Man." Then playing Dark Man and being like, "So, yeah, yeah, my." Fault, my, my my father argued with me about, this is such a good game. Why don't you like it? And I'm like, do you like stepping on rusty nails and having them go through your shoe? Was he playing it or was he just watching you play it? My father, my father sat and played Dark Man like non-stop for, for almost the, almost like we had to take the Nintendo and move it over to the TV that I have behind me. Um, and let him play Dark Man because he just wanted to play Dark Man. He loved the game. And I the only other system I had at the time was an Atari and I wound up playing Atari. To this day I cannot get Ghostbusters to work on Atari. Um. Dar Dark Man is a game. Dark Man is Vomit on the NES. Um, along with Dino Ricky. One of the streamers that I, I follow, uh, he plays Dino Ricky and I tell him <clears throat> Bless you, child, for doing that because I cannot. Stomach well, down. let me let me ask you this: Did your what did your dad have it to compare to? Like, had your dad played Mega Man or um, no? My my Castlevania or th those were all mine. My father just loved he. My father liked the movie. Um, you know, no, Ark of the Lad is not on NES. It's on PS One. Ark of the Lad is phenomenal. Um. Or, <laughs> yeah, Ark of the Lad. I thought, you know, Slippy, I've been, like, saying here, man, come on, join in. You know, it's our uh, Nintendo Club here. Can we add more to the wheel? I'm going to add uh, I'm gonna add one of my games because I didn't add anything before. All right. All right. So we lost two games. Let's add two games. So oh, the, the wheel's gone. That's okay. No, 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 no. Oh, the wheel. oh Foxy, could you add the wheel back for me, please? Um, I, I have Foxy. I'm sorry for making you work. <laughs> I gotta get my redeemies up and stuff like that. So yeah, that's all. That's just um, is it just one one per person? Is that how we're doing this? Well, there's sorry. two. So we need two games to cover the wheel. I always want there to be uh, roughly around 20 games on the wheel consistently. So all right, I'm gonna throw the original Megami Tensei on there. If anybody has the uh, oh. I think there's some some uh, good patches out. Somewhere there are translation patches. That's a dungeon crawler. Yeah. Hmm. Of course, it's not. Never mind. It's not a good. It's not a good uh, challenge game. It's a good game, but I was just thinking of that because, like, good NES games. What are some good SNES games? But uh, I don't think it has a score. I'm gonna I'm gonna shuffle the wheel, and when you're doing that, I'm gonna spin the wheel. Okay. All right. So let me just. Let me hop into Megami Tensei and see if there's anything like a score. 
I don't think there is. Oh, dear right. God. Please pass it. Yes. Yes. I don't know what this game is. I don't... Oh, Megami Tensei? So when did it become Shin Megami Tensei? Uh, when it was new and and super. Mm. So sh Shin means new, but it can also mean like super in, in Japanese. It's like Shin Megami Tensei is like super Megami Tensei. What does Megami uh, Tensei uh, stand for? Uh, so Megami, Megami is um, like goddess. Tensei is like revolution or reincarnation or um, it, it's it's got it's not clear to me exactly what the English equivalent word is, but it's um, sometimes translated as like true goddess revelation or true goddess reincarnation, true goddess, you know, something like that. And Shin is Shin is new or true or whatever, or super. That's actually pretty cool. But it's also called uh, the subtitle is Digital Devil Monogatari. Monogatari just means like story, so Digital Devil story, or could, Digital Devil Legend. I could totally see that. Let's see. All right, guys. Next game up is Garden Land. Now, what is going on here? Keeping mm -hmm. uh, inside. That's like wisdom. Docker, I don't know what this is, but this is going to be super interesting. All right, guys. Next one up is. Yeah. <laughs> Some cubicle game that Knocker wants us to play. Oh, you love this game? Oh, no, no, no. Foxy's going to take the cake on this one. All right, game is posted up. I'm going to bring up our timer. When everyone's ready, Baron, you're going to be taking part in this one? Yeah, I'm just checking to see if there's a score or anything. I need to get to a point where, that, where I see that on this game. Okay. Let's wait like a minute. Let's give Baron his minute. <clears throat> Let him take a look at this and then we'll go from there. Uh, Baron, isn't this, uh, Megami Tensei? Yep. Um. Uh, I can see status. Magic. I can do a map spell. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any, um, score on this game. It's really not about score. Anyway, it's good. It's classic. Um... What was the what was the one that came up? Uh, some cubicle game <clears throat> that. Oh, cubicle, cubicle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think Foxy language. Foxy was telling um. Uh, Knocker to play this for our his next RA game, I think. So, I know nothing of this game, <clears throat> and we're gonna go do a garden lay um ended stream with this one today, badged it years ago. <laughs> He's leading me into torture. Alright, and I'm starting the timer now. Um. Jeez, I'm already dead. Hey, what's up, Game Boy Guru? Oh, DWIO, you big time for that, buddy. Thank you. Um, we are doing our NES club tonight. Game Boy, how are you doing? Yeah, welcome in, Guru. We are playing some Kickball Cubicle. I'm not quite sure how this game works. It looks... The layout kind of makes me think Sokoban, maybe? Some kind of puzzle game? Really?
Okay. Oh, I think I see what I'm supposed to do. No? Yep. This is a really awesome game. Oh, huh. Can I spam the ice? Oops. Man, you guys are playing... Like, I know nothing about these games. Oh, jeez. Grab the glowy bags. Freeze and make platforms. Uh... These poor little frozen guys. Oh, uh, that's not quite what I meant to do. That's okay. Aha! Okay, so it is kind of like Lolo or uh, Fire and Ice or uh, um, Silkabon. Those kind of games. I, I gotta say, this is a phenomenal game. Hey, what's up, D Tuxton? How is Waifu doing tonight? <laughs> How, how's your Zelda experience going? Huh. Hey, Drake. Yeah, welcome well, on in. Find some cubicle cubicle here. This, this is pretty cool. The beautiful fantasy kingdom is now under the rule of the wizard king. The ravished, the ravishing palaces were hidden, and these islands were made to confine us. Oh, I got hit. Kickle, please get back the palaces and revive the fantasy kingdom. This game is excellent. This is a really, really good game. Oh wow, they automatically turn to ice blocks. That's cool. You know, why couldn't I get games like this growing up? Why did I have to be cursed with Dino Ricky? What do the um what do the peas do? Only three people have badged this? Really? Is it, like, is it a hard game, Foxy? Because oh. hmm. I, I kind of, I mean, this is kind of relaxing. You know, this is another thing. I'm glad this is why we have our, like, specific um, clubs that we do. Like Nintendo or Sega, because <clears throat> like I like I wasn't I know a lot about like the Sega games and stuff. Nintendo I know nothing about. Like my I have limited experience with Nintendo. So as you guys like showed me these games, I'm like, wow, this is a really kind of excellent game. Just screwed that one up big time. I wanted him to freeze. Freeze right there. Bam. Kick you off. Oh, this is one of your favorites. Oh, the tougher is the puzzles get tougher. I have a very strange feeling we're probably going to be seeing Baron play this on his stream. 
What is that? I don't know. You you like puzzle games? I, I do. One, this one's up there with like an awesome puzzle game. It's not quite Ghost Trick, but it's fun. Ghost Trick is awesome. They actually came out with that now. What is it like a remaster or something that they did? I uh, I think so. It's on the Switch. My f <clears throat> my friend who owns a store in uh, Canada told me, "Hey, listen, uh, Ghost Trick is out," and I was like, "Oh, really?" I'm guessing there's probably uh, Chivo's related to doing this in the Deathless. fewest moves possible. Or Deathless, yeah. Yes, Canada. Okay, Toronto. Canada. All right, here's a pretty decent score. 300,000. Uh, let's actually just restart rather than continuing. I kind of used some lifes up when I didn't really know how to play. <laughs> a tough Chivo worth 100 points. Beat the main game, Deathless. Oh, that's not too bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, don't... I, say that, I say that not having seen the later levels, but... So far, this doesn't seem that bad. It's a very simplistic game, but yet it's a lot of fun. So, Foxy, let me ask, how many levels are are, um, are in this this game? Oh, I screwed that one up. Oh, bonus stages, too. No, Katsuni, I was saying that my friend owns a um, video game store in Toronto. And he told me about uh, Ghost Trick coming up. So, Baron, what would you... Like, if you had to rate this game, what would you rate it? Mm, probably at least a four. <laughs> Just so that it's no surprise to anyone. <laughs> I'm probably going to be adding this game to the reviewer's roundtable wheel. <laughs> I mean, I used to play a lot of Sokoban as a kid, oh. so... I do like uh, block puzzles like this quite a bit, you know. But everybody has their own tastes. I I happen to like games like that. They're a lot of fun. Um. All right, everyone. So let's stop and let's post our scores up. Let's bring up the wheel. All right. So I had a. Let's see. I think this is three hundred ten thousand. It's all right. Yeah, so I did actually a little bit better. I think you get better scores by um, finishing levels faster. Probably. That's a good game. I was imagine. I mean, I played a bit of Fire and Ice too on NES, and that's a fun one, but uh, uh kind of tricky. I wonder if there's a set for that. Probably. Um, all right, so what I want to do now is I want to ask anyone if they want to post up on the wheel. So, Foxy, if you don't mind, could you just help me uh, add that redeem back again? 
So this is the time where we need three games um, right now because we're at 17 games on the wheel. I want to keep it at 20. So... You guys want to add uh, three games? Give me some suggestions. And if Mr. Foxy Man can put that wheel thing up there. For oh, Foxy's got it. So I will... Thank you, Foxy. Um, I, what game is Baron playing? This is Fire and Ice. Oh, Fire and Ice. So we need we need three games uh, on the wheel. Castlevania NES, brought to you by Knocker. Um, that's some really good score-based ones. Um, Metal Storm has a good one, right? Metal Storm has a has a score. Baron posts uh, Metal Storm, so let's just drop in some Metal Storm. How about some? Um... There's a Mahjong game on um, NES 2. Does that have uh, a score? I would think it would. The only thing I would say with... Um... Oh, Game Boy Guru says Metal Storm's awesome. Oh, and Knocker's got the last one, which is going to be Mega Man. Oh boy, there's lots of Mahjong games. Uh... Did I see the thing I posted on my Discord? Um... I've been kind of out of it today. Okay. Zelda's not your waifu anymore? You had to let her go? Is that the one? <laughs> that must have been a hard thing for him to do. Uh, Alright. So we're going to shuffle the wheel. And shuffle it massive amounts of times. And we are going to spin this and see what our next game is going to be for the high score. And we got a golf game by Slippy. Hopefully Slippy will play the game. Alright, what's the game? Uh, Fighting Golf. Fighting Golf, okay. Lee Trevino's Fighting Golf. For those of you that don't have it, I'm going to drop it in the club and... Lee push. Trevino's Fighting Golf. Alright. Uh... <laughs> I just host one. Um, I guess stroke play probably. Oh, you don't do. You could just join in with us, Slippy. I just host the high score challenge. Supermax, Miracle Chosuke, Big Jumbo, Pretty Amy. Let's go with Miracle Chosuke. All right, guys, let me know when you roll up, and I'm going to load. Yeah, Drake, I I agree with you too. Mine now is Lady Anne from Persona Five. <laughs> I happen to I I I think I have close to about uh thirty seven hours now into Persona Five and I got it the fourth of July, so that'll just tell you how much I'm enjoying the game. <laughs> so it's Persona Five is a phenomenal game. Abs I I love it. I looked at the other ones and I was like eh. <clears throat> I understand Persona 5 oh. over Shin Megami Tensei. I have no time. Remember when he said that? Well, I'm off, so I have time to put into games. But I, it's like, yay, I couldn't run this because I was out and sitting in four hours worth of traffic last night. A hundred and sixty hours later, you had the platinum. What's going on, Chazzy? Yeah, that's that's crazy, man. It it's a good game. I mean, it it is a solid, solid game. So, 
All right, I'm going to start the timer now for everyone, and let's get into our golf game. All right, and we're just doing a uh, stroke play? Is that right? Oh, uh, we're, we're, I guess. You had to leave her behind in Hyrule. <laughs> Whoa, my game, I I don't know. Oh, God, I don't know. How oh, wow. Is. Platinum to 160, though. That's not actually that bad, as far as games go. Because, like, I've played a lot of games where you can beat it in 30, but Platinum in it is more like 200, 300. So, you know. Platinum, 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 um, it in 160 is not, not bad at all. Okay. So is this like taking a look at the grass? I take it that you're supposed to Oh, okay, you can you can pick different items. Okay, we probably want to start with a nine iron. Why didn't it go anywhere? It says to go there, we want to go to the green. We want to pick not a putter. Probably <laughs> like a nine iron, right? For like just a regular hit, like far what? distant hit. I... It is what? Why you, man? I just had to come back to reality. I had to leave her behind. My three hundred and eighty hours in the game. Oh my my word! I don't know what I'm doing wrong in this, but whatever I'm doing is not working. Are you picking one of the irons? I don't even know how to do this. Okay, I, I didn't even hit it that time. I don't understand what's going on. If you whiff it, then you don't hit it at all. I, I guess it's the score is my the score is 10 knocker. Um, I, I think it's up in the top corner. Every July 6th. <laughs> Drake, it's good though. At least you get some time to yourself. Four buttons is too complicated. What are you even talking about? I, there's only two buttons on Nintendo. I, I give up. Yeah, like this game is ridiculous. Well, I, I can see... Like, Slippy, I'm having a hard time too. And I, I can switch my uh my irons so, right? so I don't, I, i'm contrary to belief living in long island i don't play golf so i have no idea <laughs> have i ever played have i ever played miniature golf yeah but back in the day sorry baron about that sorry baron about what no you were talking and i i said that I, I don't yeah know so so basically like i understand I was just telling Slippy, like, I understand how to change to, like, a 9-iron, but it's not, like, actually letting me hit the ball, even if I'm hitting it where it's uh, around, you know, where it's telling me to hit it. It's like there's an arrow there, which I think means hit it, and it's like a power meter, right? And it doesn't do anything. It goes nowhere. So, what am I doing wrong here? Do you have any, do you have any wise words of wisdom for playing this game, Slippy? Yeah, Slippy, if you could help us out, I mean, that would be great, because I'm lost. So I know, like, this is where you you want it to hit. And then you choose... You lock in the club. A little stroke's the word. The game is giving you a stroke. <laughs> oh, Jesus. 
So this is one of the times I'm going to ask you guys if you want me just to stop the timer and just say, yeah, we're going to end this one. If it's a unanimous has, decision. Has anyone figured out how to get the ball <laughs> to anywhere they want to go? <laughs> well, I, I, she keeps on smashing the ball, so it's like, I guess... And your albatross 18. So we should, <laughs> Knocker. <laughs> Knocker who gave us who gave us uh, Nightmare on Elm Street and uh, what was that last one? The not Cubicle Cubicle was good, but the one before that. Mm-hmm. Now, I mean, Sophie, it, I'm happy you're something... participating and stuff. I mean, that's great. I just um, I'm I'm more interested on how to play this so i know this is where I, okay so let's say i want to hit it here right okay so now you have to choose the club that you want <sighs> this is one thing i always get told i mean living in new york it's always like <clears throat> hey why aren't you like you know you're a golf guy i'm like no. Nope. <laughs> nope. Oh, Dirty Harry. That was the other one, yeah. Dirty Harry, it's just hard to figure out. I mean, I think Dirty Harry was better than, than Nightmare on Elm Street, but that's not saying much. Nightmare on Elm Street's got some pretty good music, though, I will admit. Okay, so there. There, I hit the thing right on the needle. Pretty much right on the needle, and it did nothing. In most games I've played, it's like in... So, like, I played golf in the Yakuza game, sorry, because there's a golf mini game in that. And you just have a power meter, and you, you know, choose the direction you're shooting in, and, yeah, you, you can whiff it and, like, go way over or go way low and not hit the ball. But, like, if you're in the range, like, if you're in, you know, this much distance of where you're supposed to hit, of, you know, there's, there's like, green and, and yellow and stuff, like, it'll go. It'll go in generally the direction you want it to go. Maybe you're not, you know, perfectly the direction you want. You have, like, you know, wind to deal with and stuff like that. But I don't get what you're supposed to do here, or what am I missing? It's yours. Yeah, I got that almost right on the dot, and I, I just... Yeah. So you get this, the way you would score golf, just FYI, like is basically um, the lower the number of hits to get into the into the hole is better, right? So if, you, if somebody can get a hole in one, that's like a perfect score. If you can get, you know, if par is four, then if you get four, then you're you're basically have a, a score of zero. Like you haven't, um, you're you're on par. If you if you take like eight, then you're like negative four, right? If you do two on a on a par four, then you're like score of two, right? Because it's away from how it's basically how far away from uh, par you are. But this is uh, he's just not hitting the ball. Let's pick a different game. I I vote I vote we just pick a different game. Unless, unless somebody has figured out how to actually hit the ball. The only thing I did in, miraculously in this game is put the ball. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> oh, Karate Kid on NES was great. I like the ice breaking where he was he was standing like this and then he comes in and he does the chop and breaks the ice. That was pretty pretty awesome. Yeah. All right, 44 seconds left. I'm just going to stop. I'm going to restart. I'm going to just... Thank you, Slippy, for that, though. Um, I give this game a 0.5. Because, like, I'm sure there's probably a, a proper way to play it, but, you know. You want to smash Amy? Who's Amy? Amy. Amy. <laughs> Karate Kid, are we talking about? I'm on the rebound. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, if you guys... I think he's, he's talking about the character in the game. Because you can pick a, a girl named Amy. Oh, so if you guys have absolutely no idea what's going on, Mr. D. Tuxton has been playing 380 
hours of Tears of the Kingdom on his stream. And he has had Zelda trailing him around. That he's even had nightmares of Zelda and Ganon while he sleeps. That he thought he was in Hyrule. So, Mr. D. Tuxton is now on um, something else. And he has given up Zelda. So, he is, he's off. He is off. Uh, Zelda. So, Mr. D. Tuxton and Game Boy Guru are affiliates when it comes to anything Zelda related. So. Oh, all right. Drake, have, you, have you started playing um, Ghost Trick? Because I know he, he had a thing for Lin from Ghost Trick, too. Oh, <laughs> jeez. My my thing is Lady Anne, Persona 5. I'm not getting that. That's all. That's the rabbit hole of keeping this child friendly. I'm going down in this one. <laughs> so, um, all right. I'm going to shuffle the wheel and I'm going to shuffle, 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 shuffle. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but you know what, Chazzy? It's pretty cool, though, because you could fuse the weapons into something better. Um, so it's it's a cool game. It, it is the way they did that. All right, and I'm going to spin the wheel. All right, come on, Jaws. Oh, boy. What's this? I've never played this. All right, awesome. We got Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. That. Now, the one question I have to ask is, was this a Lloyd uh, Kaufman movie? Was this a Troa movie? Like it was with... um. Oh my God! Uh, Frankenhooker and <laughs> um, so is this Attack of the Killer Tomatoes or Princess Tomato and Salad Kingdom? Toxic Avengers. No, this is Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Okay. Never, never played this. Uh, was at a friend's house. Um, back in the wee days of the miraculous nineties, and saw him playing this. Wanted to play it. But did not have the chance because we were playing Airwolf. Um, he had two Nintendos. His father was some kind of like CEO. So the hell with him. Uh, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Oh, Adventures of Tom Sawyer and Huck Finn. Ooh, Tom Sawyer. That was a speaking of. I think that was the '80s band Rush. Yeah, it was Rush that sang Tom Sawyer. Um, anyway, let's do Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Developed by Imagineering Incorporated. Glen Rock, New Jersey. Hey, this was made near near you, sir. Yes, it was. I don't. I don't have this one. Hmm. I do have Alfred Chicken. Someone want to play Alfred Chicken? Um. <laughs> nope. I have it. It's right here. Oh, Foxy. I have Athena. All nice and ready to go. Mm, Dina seems awesome. Alright, guys, I'm going to throw this up for everyone. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Boom. Okay, we got our timer up. I'm actually going to look, look that up just as you guys get ready for everything. Uh, I'm really, really curious to see if that is a Troa movie. Uh... Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. No, what was it? it? The first one was 1978. Um, no, it was not a Lloyd movie. It was a spoof of a low-budget sci-fi film oozing tomatoes going on a rampage splattering innocent victims. Oh my... I remember the toys. Um, yeah. So it was not a Troa movie. That's interesting. When oh, you can Wind jump Wind off things to kill him. Nice. So Wind Waker HD is a perfect remake. Rounds off. Come back, tomatoes. I love Wind Waker. I think Wind Waker is. I can't catch up. Sorry. No, that's fine. <laughs> Uh, I need to take my Wii's, uh, play some Wind Waker. 
Yeah, well, Wind Waker is phenomenal. Wind Waker is one of my favorite. I think one of my favorite, favorite, favorite is going to have to be Twilight Princess because Minda is just hands down. Um, all right. So, guys, let me know when you when you guys are going to be... Oh, Tears of the Kingdom, Breath of the Wild, and the original... Um, oh, Legend of Zelda? Wow. Mine's going to have to be my top three. I know we're getting into Zelda, but that means Zelda is on Nintendo. So, my top three would have to be... Um, Twilight Princess being number one. Number two would 100% half down. Hands down have to be... Um, uh, Ocarina of Time, and the third one would definitely have to be Breath of the Wild, or Wind No Wind Waker. Yeah, it would it would be Twilight Princess, um, Ocarina of Time, and Wind Waker. I loved Wind Waker. I, I thought Wind Waker was phenomenal. Um, all right, so guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start. We're gonna go for a high score challenge, and let's let's begin. Slippy, thanks for this one, man. I never played this one growing up. Um, so I'm kind of kind of excited to see what goes on. Whoa, he's after me. Oh, wow. This, this looks... Yeah, graphics-wise, this is pretty good for the NES. I'm... Say. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it's not Return of the Joker, but... Oh, well, uh, Return of the Joker, people <clears throat> say that's one of the best NES games. This is an expensive one, I think. It is uh, rather difficult to aim your jumps on things to make sure you get on the... The littler ones in particular, are a little difficult. Like right there! That should've been- that should've hit. Come back! I think that's like the boss of the stage, maybe? The bat is what screwed me up. Ah. Uh, so I'm just gonna throw so this, I'm just gonna throw this out there and ask, since we're all talking about games and and everything else, and we are playing a game that's associated with a movie. Um, I really would like to know what is your, um, hands down would have to be, I think this came out, <clears throat> your favorite 80s movie for all of you in chat. Your top three favorite 80s movie. Hmm. <laughs> mine's pretty, mine's easy. The first one would have to be Mannequin. I think the second one would have to be, oh damn, um... Mannequin, Batman, and my top number one would have to be Back to the Future. Okay. Do not say that anything when it comes to Back to the Future. Yes, I know I don't own a DeLorean. I was talking to the child that was in the room next to me. Because uh -huh. <laughs> he will turn around and say, you love Back to the Future so much that you want a DeLorean just because of that movie. And I'll be like, you got it. <laughs> I love, <clears throat> we we actually went to a place. I'll post up photos uh, near me um, two years back. They didn't they didn't have Mister Fusion the flux you know they didn't have the flux capacitor they didn't have anything in it but it was just like a regular DeLorean um, and it was one of the staged used DeLoreans before he converted everything over um, and added you know like the flux and and everything else to it. 
Um, and I took a picture of it, and I was like, wow, this is like kind of cool. So I'll post that up in scan lights tonight. I just accidentally continued before I got my score. <laughs> Dang it. Um, I'm not even... Um... I think a, a lot of people 80s would probably say... Um, I know Top Gun is a lot. <clears throat> Top Gun is one of them. Um, I just really happen to like the mannequin. Oh, Bi was Big Trouble in Little China 80s or 90s? That was 80s, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so that's going to be... I'm going to have to push that up on my list. Goonies. Damn, that's kind of hard to do your top three. Uh, Return of the Jedi, Back to the Future. Definitely Back to Empire Strikes Back. I didn't like Empire Strikes Back. I I liked um, Return of the Jedi. Empire Strikes Back was just too... I think when I saw it um, uh, detoxed in, it, and at the age that I was at, I think it was a little bit too dark for me. And I was like, I don't know. Jedi Empire fighting me. <laughs> That's funny, Chazzy. Um, dude, yeah, it was... Empire Strikes Back was... So, I mean, it was like, he lost his hand, and then he fell in Cloud City. And just Lando, you know, was just in... I, I didn't like Lando at all. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. As a kid, I liked... I probably did like Return of the Jedi better, but as an adult, it's just like Empire Strikes Back is written so much better. Let's let's talk about now that you know we're on Star Wars. Let's talk about those forgotten Ewok movies that no one really talks about. There were two Ewok movies um, that that came out that were spinoffs of Star Wars. Oh, you don't get to see what your score was from that screen. Ew, How are you supposed that? to get that? I guess you're supposed to get that from the other side is what you're supposed to do. Oh, I see. Right. <laughs> You're on a time limit. Ugh, so lame. There we go. I don't know hey. why this is revered as such a rare, rare find for Nintendo. People are like, I know, um... Nintendo collectors out where I am that just would fall head over heels for this game. And, uh, uh, Detuxton, the only reason, the, the reason why I chose the mannequin secretly is because I happen to like Kim Cattrall. And that movie, like, really is like a good Kim Cattrall movie, so. We were going in. So there's, there's not, my game just spazzed out on me. Oh. Oh, I don't know. You think the Ewok movies are kind of bad? They are. There's, like, no real story around them. I mean, the kids lose their family, and then, you know, it's kind of sad. I mean, it, they're kind of sad, but... I remember watching the, I think they were, like, holiday specials or something. You're well, all God. See <laughs> the Christmas see? special. <laughs> I noticed he's, go, he's going. What the Christmas special for? What for Star Wars? 
for Star Wars. Never saw it. Oh, you you have been saved, sir, of a, a great many things. No, there was a there was a very big divide in my house because my father liked Star Wars and I like Star Trek, and it was it was always like, oh, you like Star Trek, and I'm like, I I like Shatner, and my father used to make used to make jokes. My father used to go. You know, well now, I can't believe you really enjoy Star Trek over Star... And I'm like, just please stop. <laughs> Which most of you were probably saying as I was doing that, but... I mean, yeah, it just... I don't know. So, these guys, these tomatoes that I'm jumping on, right? They have, like, these helmets on. Are they, like... Centurion tomatoes? Sure. I... I don't know why you're asking us, as if we would know. Do they belong to, the, like, the Holy Roman tomato pyre? Because it just looks that way. God. Sure. Are... We'll jokes go with that. Are... Jokes are bad tonight, by the way. Arr. Oh, timer's over. Timer's over. All right. Attack of the Kill Tomatoes is over. Slippy, thank you for that game. I've never played that one before, so I appreciate that. Um, let's let's post score stuff. I have a there's, a there's a podcast I watch that has all the uh, almost all the alerts for when people give their uh, like super chats. They're all um, uh, the uh, what's call it? The uh, the walking carpet dudes from the holiday special. E not the Ewoks, the, uh... What do you call Chewie? Chewbacca? Yeah. Um, I forgot what he was. Wookies. Wookies. Yes, Wookies. Thank you, guys. So, oh, you're a Star Wars fan. You know, it's funny, too, because Shatner had such a defined face, um, that they came out with a Halloween mask if kids wanted to go as... Shatner for Star Trek and um, Halloween actually Michael Myers mask was modeled after the I think it was the 1978 William Shatner uh, mask because it was such a bland boring Halloween mask that it, they made it it's a Michael Myers mask and I'll never I'll never like um uh, John Carpenter was doing that. I was like, wow, are you kidding me? And John Carpenter's like, it was such a... Shatner had such a weird face, and it was so like that that we just we turned it into, you know... Yeah, it was a Shatner... Exactly, it was a Shatner mask that was turned inside out, and the hair was just, like, glued on. So, I, I mean, it's one of those weird, 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 weird things. But, um... All right, let's remove it. We're 18, so we're going to drop the wheel to about 17. We're going to shuffle the wheel again. Let's take a look and see. Come on. I'm I'm betting Baron on Holy Diver. What are you betting on? Uh, I really don't want to try Holy Diver because I've never heard of that thing. I've never um, played it. I'm thinking of Dio, but I mean, okay. <laughs> What's this Chojin Sentai? Somebody put on a Power Rangers game? Huh? Chojin Sentai? Is that Jetman? I don't know what that is. Under Mega Man? That's that's Power Rangers of some kind, I imagine. Sentai. Sentai is always Power Rangers, essentially. Holy Diver. <laughs> Holy Diver is, yes, that's a great song. Holy Diver, Rainbows in the Dark, Rock and Roll Children, um... Children of the Sea. Yep. That's my favorite from uh, Dio's years on uh, um, no, no, Black Sabbath. And then from Dio's band itself, well, from Rainbow, I really like, uh, um, I mean, from Dio's band, Rainbow Dark's good, but when he was on Rainbow with uh, Ricky, Richie Blackmore, mm -hmm. um, uh, like 16th Century Green Sleeves is great, Man on the Silver Mountain, um, just lots of good songs. Oh, Mega Man. Children of the Sea is a good one. Good song. Uh, 
Oh yeah, Marvel Rules is good too. I'm gonna make a massacre out of myself with playing Mega Man. <laughs> a big massacre of myself. I am probably the worst Mega Man player you will ever see. Um, but I own X1, X2, and X3. And I own the ones on uh, PlayStation, thanks to Knocker. Um, those are good. So, alright. Posted, posted up our Mega Man game in uh, Scanline Heroes. And let's see. Got the timer up. If you guys are all ready, just let me know. I will hit start. Haven't tried it yet. I I know eight is great on Saturn. Um, I have my original, so that one's pretty. That one's good. I I enjoyed it because I just like the Saturn controller more. Um, but Mega Man Eight is it's that's a fun game. Um, I'll never remember. I like I'll always remember that big blue guy that's that's in it. Um, I forgot his name. It's been such a long time since I played that one. Uh, I should go back and play it again. I didn't play X six yet. Now are we all we're ready? I guess we guys ready. And all right, I guess we're ready. So that Iceman looks almost identical to the Ice Climbers. That is uncanny. All right, and I'm gonna start now. All right, let's go through. So, guys, what are some of your favorite Mega Man games? I, I probably could guess. Oh, this is some... I do know Mega Man has some amazing music. I just like 8. 8's really... I love 8. Um, <clears throat> I like Mega Man X. Uh, I like the one that we did knocker for the challenge. Whichever one that... Uh, for the review. Like, I really, really like that one. That was good. I should know the game if I actually like it. That would make sense, but... How dare you shoot me like that? <laughs> it's been a long time since I played Mega Man. <laughs> you know, I didn't didn't have a lot of friends that were into it. I mean, I just I don't. Out of all my friends, I think I was the only one that had uh, X and X two. So. You know, Cut Man. <laughs> yeah, I never. That's true, Detoxin. I was never really into Mega Man. I got Mega Man 8 because I liked it. It was um, <clears throat> very cartoony and stuff. It looked pretty awesome. And I liked X. X was a very good Mega Man. Um, I did play Mega Man X a lot. I did get the Hadouken. For Mega Man X. <clears throat> and I know I played Mega Man X a lot. Because at the time. I had a. Uh, I think it was the chicken pox. So I had to stay home from school. 
and play Mega Man act and um I played Mega Man. I felt like I think Mega Man was like more of an acquired <clears throat> more of an acquired taste for some people. Really? Yeah, like I'm um, I'm just talking about like from people that I knew. Uh Like, a lot of my friends did not like Mega Man. Oh, wow. I forgot about... <laughs> uh... I'm just surprised at that a little bit, just because the, um... I don't know, I think Mega Man kind of set the standard for a platformer with uh, projectiles, you know? As, like... Just kind of the good all-around game. Um, good music. Good gameplay, you know. Um, a lot a lot of my friends were into Castlevania, Turtles. Um, Jaws. Dino Ricky, like that time. I don't even know why Dino Ricky. I mean, hmm. to... Goonies. No one really, like, one, maybe one kid from what I remember had Mega Man. That was it. Excite Bike, Excite Bike was pretty big. Hey, what's oh, up, yeah. Gamer Man? Excite Bike was was huge. Um, mm -hmm. So was uh, Airwolf. Airwolf was a big, big. Hey man, you got Airwolf? Like we're coming to your house. You got the Turtles game? We're coming to your house. Okay. Turtles games were kind of bad. Honestly, like one and two, and uh, like the it, first one that was really, that was any good was like Turtles in Time. That. <clears throat> and as we, I mean, granted, you're talking about you know like kids' opinions and things, which you know, I mean, obviously they're not. We didn't even know at the time, too. Oof, that's slow down. There's some Achievo here to get a bunch of these. I'm not even sure what they do. Are they like for score, maybe? <laughs> I mean, it's not the worst game ever, the the TMNT games, but they're definitely not as good as, as Mega Man. Like, Mega Man is probably like at least a at least like a 4 out of 5 I would say The original Mega Man is good um just don't talk to Owaz about Mega Man <laughs> Should I say well, Mech he Wily Wars, right? Mech you got Man. Wily Wars on on Mega Drive and that's you know the the Genesis version was not good Of course, Cut Man. Why would you jump there? I can't get the ball. Oh well. Noise. Oh, I'm out. A was in Mega Man is like oil and water. He will call it Mech Man. Oh, dang it. That took a lot of my health away. As you can see, I am like legitimately horrible 
at Mega Man. So I got a minute left. I'll pause. Uh, <laughs> uh, Even easier PSP remake. Oh, really? Yeah, the original Mega Man. A lot of Nintendo games were ridiculously hard. Like with the jumping, the platforming. Um, well, yeah, same same thing. But I, I never. <clears throat> yeah, I, I always consider them to be ridiculously hard. Um, I guess you got to be really good to beat them and stuff. So I'm I'm impressed. Like you know, especially when I see Cosmic Foxy. Uh, Knocker, Wait, Mega Man. Is hard? Yeah, this this one's hard. Like this what? one's. No, I mean they... compared to like Castlevania. I now okay. I find Castlevania and Castlevania Two to be easy. <clears throat> Three to me was harder. Um, but Mega Man was Me Mega Man was hard. But then again, um, I love Castlevania to no end. So. Hmm. No, Gamer Man, what we're doing is we're having a club, um, and we play for 10 minutes uh, Nintendo games. We try to go as far as we can with the high score. We post up our high score in Scanline um, Heroes Discord. All right, everyone, that's it for that. Um, and we have a wheel that what we do is I spin the wheel, and we take a game that's off. Uh, the wheel that everyone pays a redemption for. You beat him? Cutman? Yeah. Wow. He's not hard at all. <laughs> Cutman was hard, but... I, I kind of beat him. Oh, oh, Baron got an achievement. Baron unlocked an achievement. He beat Cutman. All right, let me go to a stage where I get my score, I guess. Um, that's, that's awesome, Baron. Okay, it's so 92,000. I just... I think I, I beat him after, the, the, after your time went off, though, but oh well. That's fine. All right. So, once everyone is ready, I'm going to shuffle the wheel. I've just never heard Mega Man described as hard before. <laughs> it's one of the easier platformers, I would say. Dragon's, Dragon's Lair. Um, yeah, Mega Man, for me, Mega Man's hard. Mm. I'm, I'm just not a very good, like, you know, platformer in that, that sense with Mega Man. And I think that the, the later X titles are, can be pretty difficult. You know, like, uh, there's a couple of bosses in 4 and 5. And I think in some of the remakes, they made the remakes for hardcore players. So, or not remakes, but, like, the, um, you know, 9, 10, 11. The ones that came out in, like, the 2000s. Or 2010s, anyway. Like, those ones, those ones have some really tough bosses. Really interesting things going on there. That I don't think the original NES could have handled AI-wise. But the, uh, just like learning the boss patterns and things for the original ones, and especially if you're attacking the robot masters with the thing that they're weak to, then it's really not difficult at all. But, like, Castlevania, it's kind of just strange to me, because, like, Castlevania, I would I always think of as just... it With the Medusa heads and the pits and the... Um, just the slow, slowness of your character walking around and jumping and dodging. It's a lot, um, I don't know. It's just a lot harder to, to get used to, I think. Casavinia, I could see. I, I could see. But, I mean, I'm not as good with Mega Man like Foxy and, and Knocker and a lot of other people that I know. So, I mean, even you, you did amazing right now. Like, I couldn't be Cut Man. I mean, but you did, like, you just, like, you're like, yeah, cut man, boop, and he's gone. I mean, it's so, yeah, I'm not, I'm not very good with those, with those type of games. All right, before we start Dragon Lair, I'm going to take, like, a, like, two-minute break, 
Uh, so I will be right back. Alrighty, Dragon's Lair, huh? I ponder how this is going to be on NES, because it's... I shouldn't have gone Dragon. Uh, did Lair? Lair might be a better search term here. Yeah, Dragon's Lair. There we go. Alright, uh, go with the American version. Licensed by Nintendo. An image soft release, developed by Motive Live. Hmm. Okay. I Okay then. Wow. There's not enough time to, like, turn around? I didn't know to jump! <laughs> this is another one of those delayed reaction time ones. I was in the pit! Did you see that? I wasn't even in the one that fell off. Oh my gosh! Wow! This is bad! Oh, what? The door kills me? Oh my god, this game. Alright. <clears throat> I'm going to start... This is possibly the worst NES game ever. Can I not... I can't... Duck? Well, this game was brought to you by... Knocker Crazy. Who's probably trolling us with this game. But I'm going to start. Wait, I have to defeat the dragon, but I can't duck? I can't I can't shoot down? Oh, hey, thanks, Knocker. Is, can I do anything with both buttons? <laughs> I have nothing to dodge with. Come on out, dragon. Oh, what? The bats and just keep coming back? What? So, in the interest of... Garbage... No, the actual dragon slayer is not not bad at all. Uh. I like dragon. <laughs> uh. Oh dear. I'm I'm going to Wow. Yeah, this one gets a zero for me. A zero out of five. This one wow. is knocker, please stop trying to troll people. <laughs> well, yeah, right. that's, that's like a third of the of the NES library is this bad. 
I am stopping this, I am resetting the timer, and we are getting a new game, and Knocker is banned from putting another game like this on the wheel. <laughs> Alright guys, we're, we're, Knocker, if you want a free space on the wheel, let me know. Uh, yeah, because this is unplayable garbage. Actually, oh, that's how funny. The demo doesn't even have the person playing the game. The demo just has a part of the game and things flying around in it. It doesn't actually have anybody playing it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> okay I'm gonna do Chazzy he says alright I'm gonna go grab a soda myself I will be back momentarily Chazzy I'm gonna shuffle the hell out of this thing. We got 17. We got three more guys. Three more spaces. Uh, yeah, I'll put tailspin on for you for free, knocker. Oh man, that was that was pretty bad. It's this is I'm I'm just like, how could you take a game like that and then drop I, jeez, man, that's 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 rough. And I I bet you anything that game goes for uber money. Um, Nope, thirty-five bucks. I I would not <clears throat> spend twenty-seven dollars or thirty-five dollars on that game for the Nintendo. There's no way. CIB, the guy wanted two hundred dollars and dropped it down to to a hundred. Get the hell out of here! Two hundred dollars for that game, please. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Uh. I think it's pretty much a given that the price of a game has nothing to do with its quality. <laughs> at this yeah, point. I agree. I, I completely agree. All right. Yeah, Angry Video Game Nerd completely hates that game. And if I had to play that game, I would shoot myself in the brains. Um, <laughs> if, I, if I ever would have to play that game again. Um, all right. I shuffled enough. We're going to... Uh, Spin the wheel of fun. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Shatterhand on Nintendo. Brought to you by Slippy. Oh, my God. And here, everyone. The dog wants to say hello, so say hello. Okay. Hello, uh, puppers. <laughs> Now this game, this game I played um, early on. Hey, game man. Um, yeah, we're just doing it. NES Club. It's so cool. <laughs> oh, what? You jumped on top of the box. Shatterhand. Oh, Baron's like. Ooh, Star Force. You <laughs> know. I have a game that we could put on here. Um, S H. I don't know why I would do it to myself, but Shatterhand. K. Okay. Shatterhand. Shatterhand. All right, guys. Here is Shatterhand. <clears throat> so I have our timer up. Um. This looks crazy good. All right. And hey, what's up, gamer man? You're going to go to bed in a couple of minutes? Thanks for stopping by, though. I do appreciate it, gamer man. All right, everyone. Let's start Shatterhand. Okay, oh, let's go. I guess I'll reset. <laughs> <laughs>
Have a good one, man. Thanks for uh, stopping by. And if you want to join us for any of these later um, and compete, um, Saiyan has offered to give some uh, like Steam reward cards or Amazon gift cards, depending on which people prefer. Um, let's go with this one this time. So if you if you beat the challenges over, um, if you get the most challenges beat over the twelve month period, you can get a like forty or fifty dollar gift card. Do, 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 do. Was this ever like a review game? That's this week's review game. <laughs> well, now that worked out pretty good. Yeah, I wasn't there. Uh, you did tell me about it, though. <clears throat> oh, wow. Did you see that? He can grab on. Oh, this game is dope. Oh, watch out for bombs. Some of those boxes are mimics. Who was the one that put this on the wheel for this week? I think it might have been Slippy. Or a Knocker. No, I think it was Knocker. It's a cool game. Graphics-wise, music-wise. Yeah, this is a really good game. Oh boy. I missed! Dang it. Oh well. Boss time. I love how he can jump up. I find that amazing. <clears throat> like he uses the crates to jump up. All right, gamer man, I'll I'll catch you stream if you're gonna be on this uh, this weekend. Boomerang, boomerang. Wow, this game is good. Jump left, jump right. Ah, uh, dang Right, jump left. Oh, he's going in the middle now. Got you. Got you, punk. How about that? My jumps are garbage. I was playing this at the beginning of this this uh, stream, so I, I did kind of figure out how to play and get a feel for things, so. But yeah, I'd, I'd definitely give this game at least a 4 so far. I have no idea what the storyline is, but eh. Yeah, you need the manual for that, unfortunately. Eh? This one again doesn't doesn't actually seem to work. Can't say I'm in love with the uh, ice here. Sticky bot. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Not bad. <laughs> hey, Slippy, are you still there? could really use some health. Dude, not cool. Blech. I way prefer having projectiles. <laughs> Oh, there we go. It worked this time. There we go. Beta, beta. Big coin. No. Triple beta. What does that give me? A mine bot. Oh, that helps. Okay. So this kind of, over. This guy looks like a uh, Arthur from um. He does. Daimakaimura. Oh, shh. Oh. Alright, I think the mine bot is the best bot. Triple beta. Go with triple beta for the mine bot. I think that's the best one. So <clears throat> Overall, with with this game, um, I would definitely have to give this game a five. Once you pick up the strats with this game and everything, um, Slippy. So, uh, for the reviewers, uh, reviewers roundtable, since it's on stream and you do it for, uh, 
Ken and Chris. Um, I would give this game a five. I, I think the music is amazing in this game. <clears throat> I think replayability is, is going to be high because it's a fun game. And honestly, it just I think all around this game just gets a five. It's it's a great game. It's a great NES game, great looking game, functionality wise, it's phenomenal. Um, I don't know, Baron, are you having a, a good time with it? Oh yeah. I think it looks really good. I don't know if you want to jot that down, Slippy, and then read that off on Round Table's review. But um yeah, overall knocker, I mean this this game is good like really good <laughs> see why couldn't i get games like this on the nes ah oh, I, I don't i don't know but yeah this is this is a pretty good game i i got to enjoy it um i got to enjoy it and i gotta say yeah knocker great great game and stuff man i really appreciate this um you can punch the bullets you can, punch the bullets. You can what you can punch the bullets you can punch the bullets. The guy, the, wait, the bullets that the guy shoot, you could punch them? Yes! Yes! Oh my god. Alright, well now now that you could punch bullets in this game, it just gets like a 10. Yes, <laughs> so, this, is, this is upgraded from a 4 to a 5 for me. Yeah, <laughs> this game is a 5. So, Slippy, for the both of us, this game is a 5. <clears throat> phenomenal, phenomenal game. I think, yeah, honestly, man, this, this, was, this was a really, really good game. So, with that being said, <clears throat> and with our wheel that we have here, I will have to add the wheel into a uh, spreadsheet. I'm going to post up um, some stuff under my, like NES Club and, and everything else. <clears throat> I'm going to put out an Excel spreadsheet of all the games that we have on the wheel. I'll do that tonight, post that up for you guys. Uh, we're going to... We're going to kind of end the stream here because oh. I don't know how long we've been going. Oh, wow. Two hours and 36 minutes. That was good. We got through a lot of games. And, Baron, thank you for, for you know, jumping in and, and uh, helping me out with this. I appreciate it. Yeah. Apologies for my tardiness. I just um, mm, not was at all. expecting the, the appointment that I went to or basically. Yeah, I was expecting it to take maybe 20 minutes and it took like an hour. Sorry. So for tonight, um, oh, I see Master Welsh is on, and I think Master Welsh is playing Ark of the Lad. So what we're gonna do is let's let's go ahead and uh, yeah, yeah. just a friend of the stream. We can read him. Well, thanks everybody for coming out tonight. Um, thanks Drake. Thanks Guru. Thanks. Um, the usual knocker, Slippy, Foxy, thanks Game Man for coming out. Um, who else was here? Uh, Chazzy, Chazzy was here. Um, just going back up to just get to chat here. Game Boy Guru rated, so thank you for that. Gamer Man, Slippy, thank you for Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. That was awesome. Um, yeah, Drake, everybody, thank you all for stopping in. Uh, Chazzy, really appreciate it. Baron, thank you again for helping me out hosting. I really do appreciate that. I'll try to be more punctual next time. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Alright, everyone. We're going to raid Master Welsh. And he's playing Ark of the Lad. So everyone take care. And we'll see you later.